What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. I hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. So, this upcoming weekend, Terrence Bud Crawford has a fight against Madrimov on Saturday. And, of course, he's doing promotion for the fight. So, he's getting interviewed about the fight. And he's talking to Sean Porter and a, a couple of other, other gentlemen. And he says out of his mouth, that this fight against Madrimov feels bigger than the Errol Spence fight. He then goes on to say that the Errol Spence Terrence Crawford fight was big for the urban community. But you know, this is just a big, big fight in general. Like, you know, he looking at all the different ethnicities and all the different faces. It's a lot of different people, different races, etc. This is a he feel like this fight is bigger. It's feeling bigger than the Errol Spence fight. First of all, he lying. Okay. Uh, Terrence Crawford is a great fighter, outstanding fighter. The last time we saw him, he put on a generational performance against a great fighter, and he outclassed Errol Spence from pillar to post. I was rooting for Errol Spence that fight. I'm more of an Errol Spence fan. I'm going to say that out of my mouth. But Terrence Crawford gave, I'm talking about, gave one of the best performances I've ever seen in boxing. Outclassed Errol from start to finish. We looking to see what, what Terrence Crawford going to look like. Nobody was jumping up out of their seat when he, when he announced he was fighting Madrimov. Most people had never heard of him, okay? So nobody, this, this fight is never going to be as big as the Errol Spence fight. Nowhere near it. It's not going to be bigger than the Errol Spence fight at all. I know he's trying to sell the fight to get people hyped up and get people excited, and that's, maybe that's what he was doing, but this fight ain't no, it doesn't come close. Him and Errol Spence, that fight had been marinating for years, and it was because him and Errol Spence were looked at as top pound-for-pound pound fighters in the, in the sport of boxing, right? Madrimov not on nobody pound-for-pound pound list. He ain't beating down nobody door to where we like, oh, my God, this dude is the next up. Oh, my God, he is. I'm not saying he's not a good fighter. He's a good fighter. But nobody was clamoring to see this fight at all. We just wanted to see. We just want to see what Terrence Crawford going to look like. So, no, it's no way, no how, no way in, in hell. No way in a cold day in hell <laughs> is this fight bigger than the Errol Spence fight at all. For two, Terrence Crawford said this fight was big for the Errol Spence. He said the Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight was big for the urban community. Let me tell you why I don't like that statement. One, is not true. Boxing fans in general, whether you were black or not, wanted to see that fight. It wasn't only because urban is another word for black. And usually white folks use that word urban to describe black people. That's what usually white folks say that word. Um, this fight was not just big for black people. Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford was big for the sport of boxing. It had to happen. If that fight didn't happen, it would have been a bit of what if. It, it would have put a lull in boxing because we never saw Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. We never saw Riddick Bowe and um, Lennox Lewis. You know what I mean? It had to happen, and it was a fight that everybody wanted to see. If you were a fan of boxing, you wanted to see Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford fight because they were the best of the best in the welterweight division, okay? So it wasn't just for black folks. For two, when you deem a fight as big as that as just for the urban community, that helps to devalue black fighters. First of all, a lot of people out here calling black fighters boring, saying that we don't black fighters don't sell well, you know, we don't, they, they use that as an excuse not to make big fights between brothers, between black fighters, right? And they exempt brothers, they, they let brothers, it basically holds brothers out from getting a big chunk of that pie. Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford, two black men came together and made bank, bank. Usually, they do not want to put two black fighters on screen, uh, in the ring against each other for a mega pay-per-view because they don't feel like it can sell and they try to sell us. A, they feel like us versus somebody from another country sells better. And so, brothers skip. They, we don't get a chance, not we, but black fighters. I'm going to say brothers, black people. Black fighters don't often get a chance to make big, big bank like Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford did by getting in the ring together. You know what I mean? Some one brother gets cut out of the equation and don't make a big piece of the pie. When you got a first of all, the winner of a mega fight like that, a pound for pound great like Terrence Crawford saying that fight was for black people for the urban community. Oh my god, it, 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 it allows black fighters to continue to be valued less and less. 
And you will have people out here saying, well, see, even Terrence Crawford, he was the big winner in that fight. He was a participant. He even said it was only for black people. It was only for black people. So, well, maybe we shouldn't put on these black versus black fighter pay-per-views. Maybe it always got to be a black fighter versus a Hispanic, a Mexican, a Latino. Uh, uh, um, I said a Mexican. Um a Mexican, a Puerto Rican, black fighter versus somebody from uh, Venezuela versus somebody from Argentina, black fighter versus somebody from the Philippines, a black fighter. We can't put these black fighters in the ring against each other because only the black people will watch it. Because out of Terrence Crawford's mouth, that Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford mega fight was only for the urban community. Like, cut it out, man. Bud doesn't realize it. But by saying this, he brings the, like, he helps to, Bring down the value of the black fighter, the black fighter versus black fighter matchups. And somebody, one brother gonna get gonna be missing. He ain't he ain't gonna get a piece of the pie. One brother gonna be exempt out of making a piece of the pie because they're gonna keep putting black fighters only against another Hispanic fighter. Not when it's two great black fighters putting them in the ring together. So I don't think Bud really understood when you say that. And you were a participant in that fight, the winner in that fight, and you made all that money and you said that was only for black fighters? Yeah, it's going to be people, people going to be like, well, hey, some people might look at that and say, we ain't, we ain't going to put no black versus black fighter in the ring no more. Shoot, that was only for black people. We going to keep just putting them in there against Hispanics all the time. You know what I mean? And, so, and one, one black fighter gets left out of the equation, gets cut out of the pie, gets cut out of, you know, the chance to make a big, big chunk of that pie that him and Errol Spence made together. Them brothers were, walked out of the ring with bank. Arrow got an arrow, my dog. Arrow got beat from pillar to post and still left out of there with bank because he put it all on the line and say, I'm fighting another, the other best fighter in the division, the other pound for pound great in the division, and we're going to see who come out this ring on top, right? And you had people, some people, oh, oh, no, you know, some people thinking it might not sell or whatever. I don't know, but no, nah, people, I'm sure, no, 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 I'm going to say this. People thought it would sell, but you know what I mean? But people, there's always been this stigma against black fighters that we can't sell and we don't got a style that's crowd pleasing and we don't, you can't put us in the ring all the time and you can't put two black two black fighters against each other because it's going to be boring. It's not going to be entertaining and all of that. And, you know, nobody going to watch it and maybe only black folks going to tune in. And Terrence is helping to feed that stigma with that statement. You know what I mean? So don't do that. And brother, yeah, and also, bud, don't downplay your fan base, you know, like, oh, that was for the urban community. No, bro, that was for a chunk of your fans who happen to be black. You know what I mean? And, and I want to remind him that, and I know he's happy that he's appealing to a lot of different people and a lot of different masses. That's what a lot of people want to do. When you want to get to that higher level, you want to appeal to a lot of different people, not just only to your people, but... It'll, it'll sound like you downplaying them a little bit. Like, you know, that was just for the urban community. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I remember when black folks was riding for Terrence Crawford. This before he was matched up against Errol Spence. When Terrence was at 140, first coming to 147. You know what I mean? You had black, the black YouTubers, the black fans was riding for Terrence. And a lot of the other non-black fans was saying Terrence won ish, he won that. When Terrence was the opposition prime for many Pacquiao fight. You had many Pacquiao fans and, and other non-black fans saying Terrence Carver won ish. He he ain't this and he ain't that. And he, oh, you know, he went 12 rounds with Benavidez and all that and clowning them out. The black fan base was standing strong with Terrence when he was coming up in the ranks before people knew his name. You know what I mean? The black fan base was saying, hey, we riding with him. The black fan base was saying, hey, he the, he the next up. He next up. He beating all of them. Before the other ethnicities jumped on the bandwagon, the black YouTubers was rocking with him and, and, and staking his claim as one of the best in the sport of boxing. So don't just dismiss your fan base as just, you know, oh, the urban community. No, bro, your fans wanted to see that fight. Your fans who happen to be a big chunk of it happens to be black. Now, I know some of y'all are going to say, you had black folks talking about uh, Bud. Well, that's because black fans, it was, it was Errol Spence versus Bud Crawford's fan base. But in general, man, and that, that can happen, you know, two po popular black fighters, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin, ha Mar Marvin Hagler, Tommy Hearns, Marvin Hagler, black folks going to split up in different ways. And that's how it go. But Terrence Crawford's fan base from the beginning was always been a, a, a big black fan base. 
Especially when he was coming up in the ring. So don't just, oh, that was just for the urban community. No, that was for your fans, Terrence. Your fans who pay for your fights, who come watch your fights. And they happen to be black. You know what I mean? So don't dismiss it as just for the urban community. That was a big fight that had to happen for boxing. Madrimal fight is not bigger than that Errol Spence fight in no way, shape, form, or fashion. At all. Peace.